mothers against execution. Once again, the activism and courage of Iranian people has inspired the world. For the past 11 days, grassroots movement has initiated public protests in cities across Iran. Despite the brutal oppression by the murderous Islamic regime, people of Iran have demonstrated their desires for liberty, equality, democracy, and fundamental changes for human rights, social justice, better life, and ending the Islamic tyranny. As we all know, the terrorist Islamic Republic of Iran is one of the worst, most oppressive regimes and corrupt dictatorship. A brutal regime which stops at nothing in supporting and suppressing, supporting terrorism and suppressing the people of Iran and sponsoring domestic and international terrorism. We, the members of the Mothers Against Execution, stand with the people of Iran in their struggle for liberty, democracy, human rights, and dignity. Today, we gather here to be uncompromised voices for the people of Iran as they strive to protect human rights and their struggle against tyranny, corruption, and Islamic terrorism. We do not forget or forgive, and we will hold perpetrators, collaborators, and lobbyists accountable for violation of human rights and crimes against humanity committed in Iran. Let it be a warning for the Islamic regime's leaders and their goons. The world is watching. Respect the right of people to protest. Stop using forces against protesters. Halt arresting activists. End execution of prisoners and free all political prisoners. We ask people of Canada to join us in a standing with the people of Iran who are fighting for human rights, liberty, social justice and democracy. At this turning point, we also ask the government of Canada to stop appeasing the Islamic regime in Iran. In addition, to abandon the efforts to restore diplomatic and economic ties with the terrorist regime. We demand that the Canadian government to identify, expose, and arrest the agents and lobbyists of the Islamic regime in Canada. We demand that the Canadian government to confiscate the assets of the Islamic regime's agents, collaborators, and lobbyists. We demand that Canadian government to put the Islamic regime's agents and lobbyists on trial for collaborating ignoring and covering up the regime's atrocities through social, cult social, cultural, and political activities, and in turn aiding the Islamic regime in committing crimes against humanity. Shame on Johari! 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 We also gather here to express our anger and affiliation, lobbying and political activism of liberal MP, MP Majid Johari on behalf of the regime. As Iranians and residents of Richmond Hill, we refuse to, represent it, to be represented by someone who is ignoring human rights in Iran and working for the interests of a terrorist regime for ideological reasons and personal gains. We strongly believe that Mr. Johari must be expelled from the government and the Liberal Party for, of Canada for the following reasons. One, legitimizing the Islamic tyranny as elected government. Meeting secretly with the members of Majlis of Islamic Republic regime in his office. Facilitating elements of Iran's terror group, Islamic Revolutionary Guards, to find their ways 
into Canada to purchase aircraft and aircraft equipment for terrorist activity in Syria and other countries. Advocating for engagement in diplomatic relationship with Islamic regime. Collaborating with Islamic regime's lobby cult of Iranian Canadian Congress. And also lobbying for reopening of the Islamic regime center of terrorism and espionage in Ottawa. Shame on Mati Chohari!